It is black magic that scares you. It's black magic she possess. It is her melanin that offends you. Still, you want her to undress. 
It is her gender that confuse you, cause her body doesn't fit in that small world you created. Then you forced us to submit. But still, still she dares to stand out, wearing a crown made of blood, tears, and wisdom, made of power, truth, and love, standing tall in her resistance, serving beauty for the gods. It is her that made me woman, her that told me it's okay, her that told me, let your hair down, show your body, baby, slay. It is her that healed my wounds with her mesmerizing moves and her flamboyant looks and talks. Glitter traces where she walks. If you are lost in the dark, Look for her light, follow her lead. Let black magic cast a spell on you. Let black magic set you free.
Uzoba lula ganjan Izo monza nini Amans Asindayo Amans Asindayo My existence in life is a juxtaposition. It is not just me and what people see. I am a paradox placed between two concepts with a contrasting effect. I am the contrast and so is my body. Existence in society has for me always been plagued by the lack of freedom. Who is she? What is she? Who is she trying to be? I am not opposed to the idea of questioning, as my identity was formed by asking questions and trying to find the solution to things that seemed so foreign to me. But these questions hold their own space in the world. And oftentimes, its violence allows it to take up more space than I ever could. I am hard to understand. The way my lips perch when I smile. The way my waist curves as you travel down my thigh. The way my beard glistens when it faces the sun. The femininity of my touch the deepness of my voice, the darkness of my skin. It's hard to understand. A juxtaposition. Existence in society has become captivity. Being trans, black and questioned is captivity. All I know is understanding how hard it is for us to breathe, how hard it is for us to wake up and exist, moving through a society that does not understand you, does not see you, and constantly questions you. Moving through a society that does not want to understand you because you challenge all of their convictions and beliefs moving through a world that kills you because they cannot find the answers to the questions they keep asking. The answers are all there. Their life, too, is captivity.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, hi. My name is Zoe. I wanted to say a few words because, um, yeah, what you just saw is really like a patchwork. I also called it uh, a feminine fragments, a patchwork in progress, because it's really like, actually, you saw three pieces in one. <laughs> so just a little explanation. Mandla couldn't be here tonight, unfortunately, but I always wanted to work with her. She's my uh, voguing and my ballroom daughter, like in ballroom and voguing. I don't know if it's familiar to you, but you have like systems where you have a mother figure and the mother figure is always the one providing for the next generation. And Mandla is like the next generation of ballroom and voguing. And I was one of the first generations here in Germany. And um, yes, what you just saw was a mixture out of something Mandla did, which was called Love and Desire, where she spoke about her experience as a trans feminine black body and how she gets like sexualized, exotified, but never like deserving of love. That was really her, um, her approach. And uh, what uh, came afterwards was called Black Magic, which was a tribute to black trans women. Uh, triggered by the Black Lives Matter movement, because uh, in this move movement we uh, don't pay attention to all black lives sometimes, you know? Like there are some black lives that are getting more attention by media, that are get getting more coverage by media when they are getting hurt by the system. And black trans women or Latino trans women in the US don't even get that attention from the media. So even within um, people who are marginalized, people, people who uh, experience racism, they're even like some, some bodies who, who uh, suffer more from it. So this was like my approach to just show visibility and pay tribute because I wouldn't be the artist today that I am if it wouldn't be for black trans women. They were the first ones to support me and to like see my talent before I could see it and to help me find my voice. And um, the uh, thing in between was something I'm currently working on, which is called Femina Saga. It's actually premiering next week, and it's about the witch hunt in context of hashtag me too. So these were like three things where we just like, okay, let's put it all together and tell a story. But overall, it was really about the black feminine experience, how you like constantly get sexualized or demonized or both. <laughs> and yeah, I hope you're not like too down now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I really wanted to take this moment to take this stage and like share it. Um, give attention and visibility to these stories. Thank you so much. Yeah.